how to work out how much money my business made last month in Excel. How can I work out how much I spent on something in Excel? And how do I work out how much money I made in a quarter? I'm Simon from Computer Tutoring, a real life Excel trainer. So let's answer these questions. Great, so this is the fifth in a series of accounts tutorials in Excel, during which we have created this spreadsheet. So if you want to follow along and you haven't done the previous tutorials, then you're more than welcome to download it. I'll give you the link above and give you the link down below. So before I can answer the how can I work out how much money my business made last month in Excel quiz question, First, I will need to know how to apply filters in an Excel spreadsheet. Filters are adding the little triangles at the top in Excel. First, I will need to add a row in the spreadsheet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on row five here because I want to add the row above. I'm going to go down to and click on insert and you can see that I have a new row added into my spreadsheet here. Now I'll change the background color of the row in my spreadsheet. So let me select from cells A5 across to I5. I'm then going to go up to the Home tab on the top and then choose the drop down menu here for the fill color. That uh, shows the background color of the cell and I'm going to choose a black. And then I'm just going to adjust the height of the row in Excel by dragging that up. So let's add the little arrows at the top in Excel. So click once anywhere in your data. So you can see here, I've just clicked on this VAT rate here. And then we're gonna go up to the data tab here at the top. And then we're going to click on this filter button just here. And as you can see, now we've added these little arrows at the top. So we've applied filters to our Excel spreadsheets. So now that we've applied filters in Excel, what do we get? Well, now we can select only certain customers in Excel. So say, for example, I want to just look at Mr. Bush Roses. Um, so I'm going to click on the drop down list that's now appeared under description. And then if I go down to, I get a series of check boxes here. Now I'm only interested in Mr. Bush Roses. So I'm going to untick the select all and click on Mr. Bush Roses and then click on OK at the bottom. And now you can see I'm only seeing a certain customer in Excel. Now I want to only view customers that have spent over a certain amount in Excel. So let's go down here and I'm going to clear the filter here from here. That's good. And I'm going to click on this drop down list in the received column. Let me show you clearly. I'm going to go down to number filters here and go and choose greater than or equal to. In the box that appears, I'm going to type in 100. So in this way, it's only going to show me the customers that have spent 100 or more per uh, job. Click on OK. And now I can see that, that I think there's only one customer here I've got, which is Mrs. Smith. Now say you want to know how to add multiple filters in Excel. Well, let's do that. So we're going to just remove the filter from received, just clear. So click on received and then clicking on clear filter from received here. Now I'm interested in all of the expenses. So I'm just going to click on the drop down list for expense and remove the blanks and click on OK. But I want to know all of the expenses that were VAT exempt. So I click on the drop down list for VAT. And then I'm going to untick five and 20 and then click on OK. And now I have multiple filters in Excel. I can see all of the expenses that were VAT exempt. So I can see it's my lunch here. Great. So now I want to clear them. So I could go down to this drop down list here uh, and then I can click on clear from VAT rate and do the same with expense. But say you want to know how to clear more than one filter at the same time in Excel. This is how you do it. Make sure that you're on the data tab here at the top. And then there is a clear button just to the right of the filter button. When you click on the clear button, it clears all the filters from Excel. Now we need to answer the how to 
work out how much money my business made last month in Excel question. As you can see, when I filter the data, the totals at the top are not changing. So if I just say, for instance, I go to gloves here and click on that drop down list, I can see that these filters are not changing. So we need to know how to add totals so that they change when the data is filtered. To do that, we will be using subtotal function in Excel. Okay, so let's swap the sum function for the subtotal function so I can work out how much money my business made last month. So let's go into E2 and I'm getting close, you can see. So there's the sum function that's not taking into account the filters. So I'm gonna double click on that and type in the word subtotal. So subtotal and a brackets. After the brackets, I'm going to type in a nine. Now this nine here, if I go back to it, represents the function that you want to run. So I'm interested in sum, which is number nine. So I'm typing in nine here, typing a comma, and then the rest of the function is fine. Press enter, and we can see 540 there. Okay, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to remove uh, or clear the filter from description here. And you can see that my expenses has updated. Applying, so this function here takes into account the description. So let's apply the subtotal function to the other totals. So let's do first VAT to reclaim. Let's double click on sum, type in subtotal, click after the brackets, nine, press enter. Do the same with gross, double click on gross, double click on sum, type in subtotal, click after the bracket, type in a nine and a comma. That's great. And we'll do the VAT to pay as well. Go down to subtotal, press tab. There we go, that's good. And then type in nine representing the sum. That's great. And the last one is this running total one I need to update. So I'm gonna go in here, type in subtotal. Again, add the nine in. Oops, and the same with this sum here, subtotal, and then add in the nine after the bracket. Okay, let me just zoom back this one here. Okay, that's great. What I'm just gonna do is auto fill this one, go down to the bottom right hand corner and make this running total formula apply to the entire column by double clicking. That's great, so now even I can have running totals for this. So now if I want to know how much money my business made last month in Excel, this is what I do. I go into dates just here like so, click on the drop down list for dates. If I scroll down here, today's the 3rd of March. So what I'm gonna do is untick all the dates, expand 2021, uh, and then I'm gonna, going to choose February, which is last month. Click on okay. So you can see now you know how to add totals so that they change when the data is filtered. Now let's answer the question, how can I work out how much I spent on something in Excel? This is how you do it. I can go down to, let's just clear the filter from uh, date just here. And then if I want to go down to and choose, let's see how much we spent on gloves. You can see I've got gloves selected and click on OK. I can look at the top here and I've in entirety I've spent £540 on gloves. And what about the question, how do I work out how much money I made in a quarter? Well, for that, we're going to just go back to, uh, let me just clear the description from uh, the, the description filter. I'm going to go back to date here. Let's say it was the last quarter of last year, 2020. So let's clear all the dates here and I can scroll down to the bottom and I can choose October, November, December, click on OK. And now at the top here, I've got here this, the gross amount that I've taken last year. If I want to know how much profit, I can just simply do a, a formula here that takes the expenses and adds together the gross to see how much I've got just here. Happy to see that the running total amounts and this balance there is exactly the same. There you go. Now you know how to add totals so that they change when data is filtered. You 
Know also how to work out how much money I made last month in Excel. Now, the next tutorial will introduce pivot tables, which will show you how to work out how much money my business makes each month in a report. You can see a list of January, February, March, April. So make sure that you subscribe, you click on that notifications button so you don't miss a thing. If you've got anything out of this Excel accounts tutorial, then please give us a thumbs up. It means so much. Reach out to us as well on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. And if there's any suggestions that you have in the way that you deal with accounts or you think that there's something I've missed out, then please mention them in the comments below. So I just want to say take care, take care guys and thank you so much for watching.